Alright, welcome to a speed build slash review and thoughts on the Django Fett Technic figure build. Uh, so this is another one that I didn't really get much time with as a kid and it was there. It was definitely in my brother's collection. I just didn't really care about this one as much. I, I think I might have played with it once or twice and then it wasn't the coolest of the Technic droids and all that stuff. So. Uh, it didn't really resonate with me as as much as some of the other stuff, but I'm still excited to remake this guy And I will say again alongside Darth Vader. I'm really kind of sad that there's no alternate build for this and With Darth Vader it kind of made sense because he had you know that big old cape and that huge custom helmet piece This one doesn't have any custom pieces it has custom colored pieces, but it doesn't have like unique like pieces to this set. It doesn't have a piece in this set that no other set has. It just has a piece in this set that no other set has in that color. So it's different in that regard and I think this one probably should have had an alternate build. I really think this is one of the few that I genuinely think they missed the mark on not making an alternate build for. But I'm willing to let that go because uh, yeah, there is a lot of custom colored pieces, and I think that's probably where the budget went, unfortunately. And, yeah. But with that, let's get to the speed build for Django Fett and a snap to disassembly. I'm sure you know how the buttons work down there by now, so do click them as you please. Here we go. Django Fett is done. So, I didn't realize that when I first built this, uh, he didn't actually have his blaster and I had to go find the pieces for it. it. Wasn't that hard. I definitely had the pieces for it. But yeah, this guy is actually cooler than I thought. 
I'm not gonna lie. Um, also, didn't realize that he had a rubber band, apparently. Ooh, and that does make that a lot nicer. Though, I, I have to say, whoops, that in most of the, like, movies and stuff, he, like, he bends down way further than that. He, he, he's not bending down nearly enough. Like, that's, that's the angle at, at which he's bending down right there. That's it. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's an, it's a little bit. I mean, it's good, but it's definitely not what he does in, like, the shows and stuff. He usually just, like, bows completely, you know, at, like, 90. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess that depends on what he's aiming at. But I do like this feature. I, I think it's really cool to... <laughs> oh, that's on the ground now. See, so, yeah, I think it's really cool to shoot that. Um, and, cool that he has a blaster, I will say. And he can, of course, hold his, hold his blaster on his on his hand if you really want him to. Just boom. And yeah, I think that's really nice. I think that's a cute little feature. Of course, you can put it on either hand if you really want to. And you can technically put it in either of the sides of his body. You don't technically have to put it on the side that the instructions tell you to. I think that's, that's also a nice little addition. A nice little homage to a jetpack. Not necessarily the best jetpack because this little bar thing has to be able to, to move in order to shoot his jetpack, but I think it's still pretty good. And uh, honestly, it's not that bad of a figure. I think uh, it definitely... Uh, <laughs> also, I guess you could count that as a feature. You can easily decapitate him. Yeah. So... <laughs> Uh, other than that, I really do kind of like this guy. I think he fits well with the other figures. Uh, I just really wish that he did have an alternate build, I think. Of course, the budget went to the custom colored pieces and the nice purples and blues, but I still think it would have been cool to have a nice alternate build for this guy instead of just a bunch of cup cool colors. And the last thing that I have to say about this guy, his little scope thing, when you actually put it down, it doesn't really actually cover his eyes. So you can see he's his little little thingy, but technically if you just switch this and make it so that it's flipped over, it works a lot better. I think. And it does more or so cover his eyes and you can kind of angle it so it does even though it's angled just a little bit off of this uh it's just a just a little bit of a weird design choice i think for that that one and i'm gonna actually leave it so that it goes behind his head and i think it's so that it lined up with this to cover this better but at the same time there's no coverage for the other side of his head so why does that matter uh i think it matters more that it actually lines up with his eyeball <laughs> But maybe that's just me. Uh, this is definitely... Uh, I built it right. I'm 100% I'm right that I built it right. Uh, it's just that that's how you're supposed to build it. With his visor thingy being lower than his head. So, yeah. It's a little bit of a nitpick of mine, I'm not going to lie. But I will just be leaving it in this position. Because I think it's better anyway. And it folds up behind him. And I think that's totally fine. So, yeah. With that... Thank you all for watching. I'm sure you know how the buttons work down there by now again, so click them as you please. Mr. Hyota Panda, out.